Hey man, I'm Jessica and this is Screens and Streams. News out today that Peacock is raising their prices again for the second time in two years. This is leading up to the Olympics that are going to have wide ranging coverage on Peacock starting in late July. So both new and existing customers are going to see these price increases, but the new customers are going to see them first because of course Peacock assumes that a number of new customers are going to be flooding in to get a hold of that Olympic coverage. So let's look at the numbers and then we'll talk about timing. If you are a monthly subscriber to Peacock Premium, which is essentially the base service with advertising in most of the programming, that is going up to $7.99 per month from the current $5.99. Last year it was at $4.99, so you're looking at about a 60% increase over the course of those two hikes. In terms of Premium Plus, which takes out most ads in most programming, that's going up to $13.99 per month from the current $11.99. Last year was at $9.99 per month, so that also going up $4 over the course of these two hikes. Now it can get a little price break, at least if you look at it as the average monthly rate, if you were to pay annually, although those prices are going up as well by $20 for each of the plans. So in terms of Peacock Premium, that's going up to $79.99 over the course of a year, which would be $6.67 on average per month. So a little break from the uh, $7.99 that you would get if you paid monthly. And then Premium Plus going up to $139.99 which you could look at as an $11.67 per month uh, charge if you wanted to look at that way. Again, a little cheaper than what you would pay if you paid monthly with the increased prices that we're about to see. When is all this happening? Well, new subscribers will see these new numbers as of July 18th. So if you sign on to the service, that's going to be your new price as of July 18th. If you are an existing Peacock subscriber, you are going to see the new numbers as of August 17th. So whenever you are billed after August 17th of 2024 here, you're going to see this price increase. So Peacock obviously feeling pretty good about their subscriber numbers, especially the interest with the Olympics coming up. Last year, they had the exclusive rights to one of the NFL playoff games, which brought in a lot of new subscribers. So where Peacock has been a little cheaper than some of the other streaming services, now this puts them pretty much, at least on the monthly uh, terms, in line with Disney+. Plus. Same numbers for the ad-free or ad-supported tiers, uh, a little bit cheaper than Netflix still, although, although Netflix with ads is actually $6.99 per month. And then things like uh, HBO Max, Apple TV Plus, those are still a little bit more expensive. So they're kind of putting themselves in line with these other services where before they were cheaper. And they obviously feel like they have enough programming now and there's enough interest in what Peacock is offering that you would be just as willing to pay them what you are paying a lot of the other guys out there on the market. I would love to hear what you think. Will you pay these new Peacock prices? Put that in the comments section below. Otherwise, the thing that you're going to want to do next is watch this video.